What's going on everybody? So I got some exciting news, exciting for me anyways, and could be for those of you that maybe uh, are on the fence about brewing beer or never have brewed beers before. But if you've been watching any of my content, you've seen I've been using the Clawhammer Supply 240 volt um, 20 gallon system here. Uh, it'll do very, very big grain bills and 10 gallon batches with ease. Well, the guys at Clawhammer reached out to me and they wanted to see if I was interested in uh, demoing their starter system, which is basically a 10 gallon brew in a bag system that you can do on the stove top. What it essentially is, is it's their 10 gallon system without the element and the controller or any of that stuff. It's basically extract brew, um, or partial mash brew. You can actually do all grain brew in it. You just won't have the recirculation mash feature on there. Um, but those things are all easily added onto. So let's go ahead and dive in on it and take a look at it for a moment here. Well, as you can see here, this is the 10 gallon kettle. It has a nice lid for it that uh, is countersunk in. So when you set it on, it produces a nice seal there. Um, it is already designed for upgrading later if you want to change this whole system to a recirculating mash with a pump. You can do that with the heat element and everything. You basically just take this piece out and you put the spray valve on in place of it and you already are on your way to recirculating your mash. But uh, it also has an NFT ball valve here. Basically it's just a quick connect so all you would need is just to quick connect pieces in the tubing to make it a full recirculating system. Inside we have the uh, grain basket. Nice 304 stainless steel grain basket. You can do the finest crush with your grains in this thing. As a matter of fact, I crush my grains to nearly mud. Like the finest crush that I can do, I have been doing with this system. And the beautiful part of this system has been that I don't end up with any, any grain bits in the boil when it's boil time. All the grain, husks, bits, everything stay in the basket when you pull it out. So it's been nice. Um, these are the J clips. These come with the uh, starter kit. They're basically just J hooks. I call them clips. They're, they're J hooks. And you just hang them on the edge of your kettle. And then you can set the grain basket on those allows you to drain the grain basket without issue. It's been awesome. I've been using the 20 gallon system and I use a hoist for that and you can really don't need a hoist for this one. Um, although you can use one, usually you can just lift it up, lift it up with one hand, two hands, have a partner put the clips in. When you're doing the 20 gallon size, that's a whole different ball game. Bigger grain bills, like I said, more weight, but yeah. It sits in there nicely, pretty easy to clean as well, um, but it's a real fine mesh, like I said, and you don't get any any grain bits in the boil. So let me set this aside. Now this kettle, like I said, is actually the same kettle that you get in the 10 gallon full electric brewing setup. And now that one retails for $9.99 right now. This system, uh, beginner setup, starts at 420 and it goes up from there. You can add additional parts to it if you want as you're ordering online. Um, but this is the exact same kettle that they use uh, for their 10 gallon batches uh, in their 10 gallon system. You'll see here, when you order this system, it comes with uh, plugs. One for the lid and one for the uh, thermo well port. This can be for a thermo well if you're going to do the electric controller or you can actually screw in their uh, temperature gauge and uh, monitor the temperature of your mash when you're mashing in your partial mash or all green mash, full on mash I should say. But yeah, that's, that's cool. But it does come with a plug for the time being so that uh, you can get the brewing on the stove top at least or on your propane burner with your choice really. Um, but when you're ready to upgrade, you just pop this plug out, put in your thermo well or your regular temp gauge in there, and you're ready to rock and roll. Another cool thing, man, that I really like about this is on the back side here, 
They, they, um, they give you the tri-clamp with the little rubber seal and a stainless plate uh, so that you can plug up the back electric port until you're ready to go full electric. Or maybe you never go full electric and you just leave it plugged up. This system is fully modular. I mean, you can just upgrade as you go with it. And I think it's great for anybody who's not looking to really go beyond five gallon batches um, or, or massive grain bills. Like I think this will even support up to like a 19 pound grain bill easy. But uh, we'll, we'll see in, in the future when I brew with it, um, extract or if I, if I decide to start brewing with it here in the full electric controlled rotation, if you will. But this is cool. Like I said, it's designed, it's designed to take in the uh, 110 element or you can do the full 240 element. Uh, it'll take either or. It's a ripple element. And another thing is um, you really don't even have to use claw hammers controller or element if you don't want. This will really, any controller you have out there that uh, you can hook up with a tri-clamp with the ferrule and all that. You'll need the ferrule and all that for it, but it'll take any element really that'll fit. And um, also clearly any controller, but uh, of course they would, you know, prefer to use theirs or their kettle, you know. But man, I just wanted to talk about this for a moment because uh, this is something that's going to be added to the channel. Um, and like I said, I do plan on doing some electric brewing with it as well. But um, I'm definitely going to dem demo this on a beginner setup level on the stovetop here in some videos. And so uh, it might benefit some of you guys that are looking to get into brewing. Or maybe some of you guys that are still doing propane burner type cooks, boils. And... Um, you may want to go full electric. This is a good place to start, man. Um, they are competitively priced on these uh, kettles and systems. And a lot of times when you buy a steel kettle, you're going to pay around 200 bucks or so just for the kettle uh, for a 10 gallon for sure. And it's not going to have any, it may have a port and that's about it for a ball valve. But uh, a lot of times they don't even have the port. You have to actually punch your own hole, put in your own weldless um, ball valve, and uh, then you have to drill out for a thermo well and all that. They've already made this fully ready for electric brewing. And uh, yeah, they've got nice etchings on the inside here. You can see you got the gallon marking, all the gallon markings on the inside the kettle ready to go. Not a bad deal at all, man. So, uh, yeah. Start with this, and when you're ready to go full electric, add a controller. Doesn't have to be claw hammers, it can be any controller really. Add your element to the element port in the back. You're ready to do some full electric brewing. And I like that they have the NFT um, quick disconnects because Tri clamps are kind of a pain. I think tri clamps are a pain. I would rather, I like the NFT quick, the quick disconnect setup because uh, I can quickly just hook on a hose, disconnect the hose. They're easy to wash, hang, everything. So yeah, I am just wanted to do this video real quick. I am very excited to uh, start working with this 10 gallon pot as well. And uh, like I said, I like the lid too how it's got the lip on it, just sits right on, and uh, you're ready to rock and roll. So we'll see you here soon guys when uh, I do some extract brews on the stovetop with it, and I'll also show you how easy it is to convert on over to a full recirculating mash system when the time comes. But this is a great way for that home brewer in your life. Maybe you're not a home brewer, maybe you know somebody that is. And uh, granted, this video will come out after the holidays probably. Uh, hopefully not, maybe I can get it out here soon. Um, this is a great way to start uh, brewing for yourself or for somebody who you know will probably take it and run with it. Start with something as simple as this, is cooking on your stovetop, simple mash. Uh, partial mash extract brews and then when they're ready to really step it up you can simply add an element to it 
put a thermo well in there, probe, controller, you're ready to rock and roll. So I'll see you soon, guys, when we uh, do some uh, bigger things with this. But uh, keep a lookout for uh, some stovetop brews coming soon. Cheers. And thank you to Clawhammer for sending this out for me to demo. Um, I'm glad these guys are willing to put it out there for me to uh, show you guys exactly what you can do with their 10 gallon starter system. I'm excited about it. Cheers.